Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner. Rene Omaisha. There's one thing, one thing when they, when they bleed my mind, when they make me go angry each time, I remember how this, this country is being run. Against the Igbos, against the Igbos. <laughs> you know, they're not, they're not, they're not they tell you right now. <laughs> There's one thing when they touch my mind, they touch, they touch inside my bone marrow, inside my heart. One of the things say, we in Igbo land, we have lots of benevolent and magnanimous, magnanimous Igbo, Igbo, Igbo citizens. And yet, that tribe called Igbo, <laughs> that they disdain them when they come to leadership, when, when they come to political setting, when they come to ruling and involvement in, in government and in politics, they go disdain them. If they paid me, I have to say the truth. <laughs> Because majority of the good people I've ever seen in Nigeria doing good things selflessly, helping people selflessly. Many of them are all from evil land. Many of them, the whole billionaires, trillionaires, one day for Nigeria from from other tribes. You cannot see people who are as benevolent, who are so good, who are so who are so philanthropic, like like Igbo people, Igbo 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 people, Igbo billionaires, Igbo millionaires. You cannot see other tribe like that. No, they help, they help, they help selflessly. They help without without wanting without wanting anything in return. Igbo people, Igbo people, they do it every time. For that one, kudos to them. No, no two ways about it. I remember when South Africans we are fighting Nigerians. <laughs> They were, they were buying Nigerians there. It is only, it is still this one Igbo man that helped to go and return them. <laughs> I still remember during the time of Malaysia, Indonesia, now this Igbo man goes to the return them. <laughs> Not just to count a few. No, no, it don't, it don't reach Sudan. Sudan. This same Igbo man, what did they call Onyema? <laughs> Epis, Epis, the owner of Epis, that man. <laughs> <laughs> the government go abandon their, their citizen there. Pam. <laughs> Nigeria government, they, they don't they, they send you. <laughs> go tell you say, I send them to Port Sudan. <laughs> Everybody where I there Port Sudan. Now you know where the idea of Port Sudan. I don't send them for you, Port Sudan. <laughs> Your government will leave you there. Pack up. <laughs> Nigeria government. <laughs> they trap you for Sudan. When they trap you for Sudan, what, what, what is their business? They send you. <laughs> Now they said you go study for Sudan. <laughs> Who sent you there? It is only Onyema, a man with the heart of God, that can do this. <laughs> Still from Igbo, Igbo, Igbo land. Though. Now, now Nigerian people, when they trapped, when they trapped in Sudan, oh no, I don't know say an Igbo man get the plane, one on one enter now, Abi. <laughs> majority of people when stay there for that Sudan, majority of them are Muslim Nigerians. Eh? Not be Muslim, eh? Abi. Now, 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 not say not be Christian. Not be Christian, get the flight because you are looking for your safety now. <laughs> Now Christian that I'm now Christian Igbo. <laughs> Majority of now when they there, now different tribes, I was half there, full and they there, Yoruba they there, every tribe you video, all of them are there. Now when I want to enter the plane, make one escape on our head. When I forget saying Igbo man, Igbo man play now when I want to enter. And Christian, and Christian play now when I want to enter. No, this time now is no longer an Igbo man. No, this time now is no longer a Christian. You people want to enter, enter his plane on another shame. <laughs> If this time on here, man, now this happy flight owner, if you come out tomorrow and say, I want to be the president of Nigeria so that I can help, I can help you people the better. Mba, na ibo pe, na ibo, na that time na go remember say na ibo man. People want to take out, take over Nigeria. Na that time na go remember say na ipop. Say they support ipop. No, na go bring them for him. Say he don't go out at the time one na share with him name the cano. Na go de, na go de manufacture picture. When I go to my father, I go to the reason they bring wash on our people. <laughs> so, Onyema, Onyema is, is an IPOP, is an IPOP supporter. Don't vote for him. If you vote for him, Nigeria is gone. They will divide Nigeria. Now, that same, now that same Onyema, no, I don't remember saying I'm from IPOP region. <laughs> I don't remember saying I'm from Biafra region now. No, I don't remember. But when they enter in plane to save Onyema. <laughs> Make it try come out now. Make say, okay, I want to be the president of Nigeria so that I'm able to have more resources to help Nigeria, to grow Nigeria, to develop Nigeria, to help the poor. Mm -mm. <laughs> now the poorest people when the other region go say, oh, Igbo man, Igbo man want to take Nigeria. Now they marginalize Igbo. Now they discriminate. People want to help on Now they use on hand, they, they, they destroy on ourselves. People want to grow on develop on Now they use on hand, they stop them because of tribe, religion, <laughs> sentiment. You, you never read it now. You don't read it now. For Sudan, who now call now the same Igbo, <laughs> the same Igbo person when be when be high pop, <laughs> when be Biafra, when be Christian. <laughs> now, oh, now, oh, now, now he money pass Dangote at the Asuna. This guy now he got money pass Dangote. No, he got money pass other after the law and all those people. No, why they know they happen now? 
Why you not say help? Help is from the heart. No, you know that people want their money for from not pass them. No, you're not there. No, you're not there. But they are banned on there now. They live on there. They are banned on You know that money. You know that people want their money pass them for worst. You know they don't food there. They don't food there. But they help on No. Now the same people want on the neglect. The same people want to say we oh, can never rule out. That, so evil people only good to do work. Mm, they're good. They're good to do work. They're not good to lead. You want to only good to serve or from risk, from danger. No, they're not good to lead in government. <laughs> they're not good now. No only work. No only work. No and only marginalization. Now you to But for them to be in position of power in government, in leadership, no, you know, suit them. And they are for those who never see on our people, on our brothers and sisters, one day for Sudan, Nigerians. <laughs> They stranded. They wait for they wait for Nyema air peace to come and carry them. All right now, watch video. When I see them, this time now there's no discrimination inside that earth. for that as when I for Sudan. There's no Igbo, there's no Yoruba, there's no outside, no discrimination, all of them are together because you want to save yourself. <laughs> But those who never see this on him, I want to tell you, the owner of earpiece, let's listen to him. You see somebody that have the heart of God. I don't want to talk too much. Listen to his video. Also, Nigeria's leading airline, Airpeace, has also expressed urgent determination to evacuate stranded Nigerians from Sudan at no cost. Jesus. Joining us on the show this morning to discuss the evacuation of Nigerians stranded in Sudan is Alan Oyema, Chief Executive Officer of Airpeace. Welcome to the morning show. Well, quickly. When we had uh, issues in South Africa, you have to evacuate Nigerians. When uh, there was COVID, you have to evacuate Nigerians from India and elsewhere. You keep doing this. And yet this same country has not deemed it necessary to give you national honor. What motivates you? Now you are saying you want to help Nigeria evacuate people from Sudan. On this program last week, uh, Professor Bola Jakinyemi said, oh, uh, I, I look forward to Alan Oyema helping to evacuate Nigerians, but they have to pay him. What motivates you to keep giving? Well, um, to me, it's even a privilege, uh, I mean, to be allowed to contribute my quota to my country. I, I'm a, in fact, I'm a good adherent of what can you do for your nation and not what your country can do for you. So I thought that Nigeria is a country of about 378 ethnic nationalities. Yes. This is supposed to be our strength. The diversity we have today is an envy to all. Uh, it, it pains me that we have not been able to weave the country together uh, in over 60 years of our independence. So it pains me. So whatever I have to do to encourage people to come together, you know, to promote unity and at the same time encourage broad nationalism as against ethnic and religious nationalism which we have in this country. That is why I do it. I do it because I love this country. I believe we could be better than what we are having now. 378 ethnic nationalities. This is a source of strength. Meanwhile, we are not harnessing that. Instead, this blessing God has given us has become an albatross of a kind. And it pains me. So at all times, I like using my God's giving blessings to see how I could help my country. It's not about evacuation alone. I laid down my life in the Niger Delta for this country. Uh, to me, to date, that is my greatest service to this nation. Because Boko Haram would have been a child's play. But I laid down my life and uh, got Niger Delta sorted. And today everybody's enjoying People have forgotten all that. So a lot of people are talking about uh, my intervention during evacuation, during the COVID time, Thailand, uh, India, Malaysia, Indonesia, because Nigerians were destroying our embassies over there. And I felt that was a great disservice to the image of this country. And I sent in my jets to go and bring them back home during COVID. I, I feel personally honored to even to be allowed to do that. So it's not a publicity stunt because I've been doing it right from secondary school to the university, trying to uh, do things. Uh, my own activi activism is centered on trying to bring Nigeria together because I believe um, it's something that we should all be proud of. However, it pains me 
that my gesture has turned and has started causing some kind of uh, problems everywhere in the social media. Um, people are trying to bring ethnic angle into it. For those who are supporting me, the Igbos who are rooting for me that an Igbo man is going to do this, do that, please stop. And um, for other uh, people from other tribes in Nigeria other than Igbo who have something or the other, or one, one or two things to say about it, stop. It's a Nigerian thing. It's not Igbo, it's not Yoruba, it's not Hausa. I don't want um, a good gesture to be turned into ethnic debacle. It, it pains me. Well, it that's makes well me said. uncomfortable to the extent that I might not do I might not do this again because I want to promote unity, not to cause disunity Absolutely. with my gestures. Absolutely. And I do hope that these um, you know, talks would not discourage you from doing good work in Nigeria. We need more Nigerians like you to do more you know, in terms of uh, social responsibility, helping out where needed. But Did I'm you listen to the man, Alan Onyema? <laughs> you see, as somebody, very humble and very simple. Very humble and very simple. You see, they even talk, say, many people know they talk, say, oh, because it's a Bible man, because uh, not be a Hausa man. Okay, you should forget it. It's just in the spirit of being a Nigerian. <laughs> but the problem, Oga Allah on your man, where would they talk? And if there's no doubt that about what would they talk, it has nothing to do with sentiment or not. Whatever. No, the, 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 I should tell like this now, they help Nigerians everywhere with the spirit of Nigeria, which we love. Which I love. I said the day when you go come out and I say I want to be the president of Nigeria, they will they will they will let you know that you are an Igbo man. That's the problem. Which is bad. We don't we want to call what is bad bad and what is good good. What you are doing is the best. If I'm your position, I will do. I love it. Don't get it twisted. And I will repeat it. What you are doing to Nigerians, irrespective of tribe, place, state, religion, language, it is it is what God has have mandated a good man, a normal man to do. He said, when you see your fellow man in distress, in trouble, help out. Because if you cannot help a fellow man that you see, koro koro with your eye like this, how can you claim that you love God? What you are doing is the love of God. And we love it. I love it a lot. Don't get it twisted. But what we are saying, the way Nigerian leadership system is run, political system and governmental system are being run, we don't like it. <laughs> it is not inclusive when it comes to leadership, when it comes to government. That is only when they remember, oh, this is an evil, this is an evil. We are not talking about you. We are talking about the people who are at the helm of affairs, the way they have designed it. When people, people, person have no place. No, they do not have no, they have no place. They have no place. Look at the inauguration team, Tunubu don't put on now. About 15 persons. No, no one evil person. You good, you no good. Uh -huh. We need to be saying the truth at all times. The issue is not what you, are, what you are doing is not the issue. No, no, but people must, must talk because people must speak when they say things are not right. Things are not done the way it ought to have been done. So people will talk. That's just the problem. So for those who discriminate against people, this is anybody, please, you are doing more harm than good to yourself. <laughs> Because there might be an Igbo man who is a savior for Nigeria. But because of this discrimination, because of this, uh, he's from Biafra, he's from this, he's from that, he's going to separate Nigeria, he's going to tear Nigeria. You people are denying yourself good governance. That's what I want to portray here. A person like this man now, imagine him being a president. <laughs> you know what that country will turn to? <laughs> You, there's definitely, because you know that this man have empathy. He have sympathy for people. He have, he have the heart of God to help people who are, who are, in, who are despondent, who are, who are in, in, a, in a critical situation. He have that heart. You don't need to tell, you know, you don't need Holy Spirit to tell you this one. But, but you see that, that thing when they don't put for your head. That bad siege. Oh, he's an evil man. He's an evil man. He's going to ebolize Nigeria. He's going to take over Nigeria. He's going to break up Nigeria. He's going to be afraid Nigeria. That, that nonsense seed will not allow you to see. It's like a mask. You need to unmask that for you to see clearly. <laughs> for you to see clearly a great leader that God, God have designed and kept for you. I don't want to talk too much. Guys, if you love what I'm doing here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, even on TikTok. All of my political love, guys. Peace out.